high. Now is possibly the best time for lifting and dividing your snowdrops if you want them to spread around the garden. These really, really hardy, tenacious little plants, often pushing their way up through frozen ground snow in the dark, coldest, wettest months of the year, often between the beginning of December and all the way through to the end of March, transplant like this in the green much better than they do in bulb form. The bulbs that you buy in the garden centres and online are often incredibly tiny, often the size of a garden pea and perish in the heat very quickly once lifted out of the ground. So no matter how quickly you get out and plant them, they're obviously they are sometimes dead before you've even planted them. So transplanting them in the green when they're actively growing like this is really, really easy. Often left until after the flowers have actually gone over. I like to do this a little bit on the earlier side and many of you think this is a little on the brutal side. This clump has been in for around three years and I normally lift them every three years, break them up into three or four pieces, plant part of it back into the original place and then move the other ones about the garden. This technique is really very simple and it's really easy, especially if they're in flower, to see where you want to put them and where you may have gaps in your displays. Simply take a trowel and lift the clump all the way round. They're fairly deep, so make sure that you go all the way down so you're not damaging the bulb and then simply pull them out the ground like this. You can see this is a beautiful little clump of snowdrops all together and I'm going to break this up now into several size sections, keeping the roots intact into clumps of about, mm, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, ten bulbs a piece. Again, I'm going to split this up into three or four chunks, just like that. There we go. This bit I'm going to pop back into the original hole and plant back to the same depth as it was there. Just loosen up that soil and get some of that media out of the way. I've mulched around these so they're a little deep and then tuck them back in for them to carry on flowering and for you in to enjoy. These other clumps are free. These have generated over the last two or three years, you can see really, really lovely plump bulbs. These are about the size of a decent silver skin onion. These are gonna be transplanted all around the garden. And when I plant them, I must make sure I plant them back down to the depth they were originally. That's the yellowing section, much like you'd see on a leek if you'd pulled a leek up. That section there needs to go back below the ground and I'm gonna transplant these all over the garden. Anyway, it's a perfect job for cracking on with on a really cold and damp January morning.